This reading is going to be for air signs. Hi, air signs. I put my phone on silent. I can already see people starting to try to interrupt. Okay, hi, air signs. How are ya? Let's see what you guys got going on. All right. Sorry, I'm a little thirsty. Just that camera just a bit. It's good. All right. What do we got going on for our air signs? Angels, archangels, spirit guides, higher self. Whew. What do we got going on for our beautiful air signs? Hold on one second. Okay, just had to ground a little bit. Do a little quick meditation. How are y'all doing, Earth air signs? Air signs. Who's air signs? Libra. Who else? Is it Scorpio? I don't know all the air signs. <laughs> okay. I know Libra's an air sign. All right. All right, Spirit, what do we got for our air signs? Like something wants to come out already, but man, woo! Hold on. Damn, air signs. Right off the bat, we got the lovers card. Whew. So depending on what comes out next, it's either a choice in love or someone falling in love. It's Gemini energy. Let's see what's going on. What do we got for air signs? Nice. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's definitely a new relationship. Air signs. <laughs> we got the lovers. We got the knight of cups and the ace of cups. Ace of cups. <laughs> new relationship. Ace of cups for me is, especially if it comes out with multiple cup cards, it's always a new relationship. Every single time. Um. <laughs> so... Because I was going to say the lovers could be like choosing between two lovers in love. But we got the lovers card. Because the lovers card can be making a choice in love or it can be a, a, a new relationship. Or, you know, taking your relationship to the next level. But if it comes out with cup cards, it's definitely like it has to do with the relationship. Excuse me. It came out with knight of cups and ace of cups. Ace of Cups, if it comes out with multiple cups and the Lover's card, definitely a new relationship. All right, so for all of you air signs, whoo, you guys got some coming in. So we got the Lovers, we got the Knight of Cups. <laughs> I love when this happens. I'm not even on your guys' love section and you guys already have um, love. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even on your love section. And you guys have already have love showing up. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, before I forget, I want to shout out my friend Sarah Reeves, who made me this beautiful, crazy lace agate, agati, however you pronounce it. You can pronounce both ways. Um, this bracelet. <laughs> it's made of hemp, and it's got crazy lace on it, and it's it's beautiful it's stunning and I love it and thank you Sarah I love you so much I am so blessed by all of you guys all right so lovers knight of cups so okay hear me out air signs feels like this person coming in could be a water sign because this person is on a dolphin they're floating on top of the water so even if it doesn't have to necessarily be a water sign um, it's just, you know, there's a lot of water in the, in the, um, card. It's also cups, which is what water, um, emotions cups is love emotions, right? It's passion. It's love. It's, um, sorry, that was my chair. It's passion. Okay. So the thing is, um, this person is on top of the water and on top of a dolphin. So whoever this person is, very joyful personality, they're very playful, 
you know, because they're on top of the dolphin. They're riding a dolphin crying out loud. They're having fun. They're having fun. Okay. So they're probably really in tune with nature. They probably love animals. Um, another thing that I'm noticing about this is this person, even if they are a water sign, they don't necessarily have to be a water sign, but if they are a water sign, they're very, um, they feel their emotions, but they don't get lost in them. They're literally riding on top of the water or riding on top of their emotions. So, um, it's a beautiful energy of balance. Look at my cat back there chilling. All right. Oh, and this, I... I got this beautiful necklace. It's a resin necklace and it has copper in it. I got this from Fairy, the Fascinating Fairy. Um, she's one of my featured channels on my channel, on my YouTube channel. So check out her channel if you go to where it says featured channels on my channel. Um, she's on there and, you know, she has an Etsy shop too by the same name, the Fascinating Fairy. Um, but she spells fairy, F-A-E-R-Y. She makes beautiful things. Look at this. Um, it's, it's just, it's stunning. I love it. It has glitter in it. You probably can't see it. Um, this camera doesn't do it justice, but it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, like I said, you guys, I'm so blessed. She's also an air sign. So hopefully she's watching this. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do one more card from this deck and then we're going to move on. Do we even need to know what's going on? Okay, we got four of pentacles. So holding on to something too tightly. So now be careful, air signs, because you got this beautiful love energy coming in. Now when it comes in, be careful not to hold on to it too tightly or be too possess pos possessive. <laughs> be too possessive or jealous with your lover because then I feel like you have the potential to scare your lover away. For some of you, this is, um, you know, maybe holding on to your finances too tightly too. But since it came out in a love reading, it feels like a little bit of possessiveness, honestly. Now, um, some possessiveness is completely healthy. You know, there's a good possessiveness, like that's mine. Um, I claim that type energy. And then there's like, the low vibrational, like you can't do anything, you know, I control everything you do type possessiveness. And that is unattractive. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Sweet. So let's go on to the next tarot deck, which is my Rider weight deck. And whoa, one card already flew out. Oh, we got the world. Whoa. All right. So you got all sorts of good things coming in. Some wishes. Hold on, let me just cut this deck. <laughs> All right, angels, archangels, spirit guides, higher self, ancestors. I am the clearest channel for source messages. I didn't even get a chance to shuffle those properly and that card flew out. So that's definitely meant for you, air signs. We are doing air signs, um, spirit. So... Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's tell our beautiful air signs what they need to know as of right now. So we got the world card, beautiful energy. I like that. So it feels like you guys are something, ooh, another ace of cups. Damn, you guys definitely got a new relationship coming in quickly. Okay, so this world card feels like you guys are going to be doing lots of traveling for some of you. Um, maybe taking a trip with someone special. This could be actually where you meet this new person to have this new relationship. The world, it came out right next to the page of pentacles. So um, it's like, I feel like whatever it is um, that you've been doing and saving up. Sorry, I got an itch saving up your money right now is the time to take advantage of all of your hard work i feel like with this world card page of pentacles like you're sort of in a place where you feel like you want to enjoy your life and you want to spend some money this hard-earned money that you worked so hard and bust your butt off to get so now you're just kind of relaxing and enjoying yourself you got Ace of Cups right after that, which is again is a new relationship. 
So for some of you, this is traveling. For others, it's feeling fulfilled. Um, very fulfilled, in, like all around in your life. Finances, emotions, um, spirituality, love life. It's everything um, blessing you all at once and you feel complete fulfillment in your world. It's like you've literally managed to... Um, Fix that whole, uh, oh, not fix, that's the wrong word, spirit, that's not the right word. Um, it's like you've mastered the arts of manifesting your thoughts and your inner world as, as and <laughs> I'm getting so tongue-tied, the spirit message was coming through so quick. So you've manifested, you, okay, you have not manifested, that's the wrong word too. I mean, it kind of is, but you've basically mastered the arts of whatever is within you is without you so you have worked on your inner self and therefore it's showing on your outer that's why you have all these beautiful things coming in because you've mastered your thought process and in the process you've fixed your outer world i guess does that make sense and i want i say fixed because it was never broken you know what I mean? You were just going through a phase of learning, healing, and but you've mastered it and things are starting to even out for you. It's perfect. You know, you got this um, traveling, um, complete fulfillment in your world. Um, everything uh, evening out, all these beautiful things coming in, being able to enjoy your money, feeling joyful. Whenever I see the page of pentacles, it always reminds me of someone enjoying their money, having fun, being jolly just relaxing into their financial abundance. And then you got the Page of Cups. Um, the energy of the Page of Pentacles is someone who's like very, was very studious, but yet childlike. Um, you know, it's just this great energy of joy. It's a very young energy, young, carefree, um, curious about the world. You know, it's just, it's great energy, guys. Okay, we got two more cards. Okay, so we got Knight of Wands. It came out in reverse. So someone is not wanting to move forward with something. I don't know what. Let's see what came out next. Two of Wands. So even though your world feels complete, Two of Wands came out in reverse. So it's like you feel still like something's missing. You're okay. Let me let me just show you these cards. We got the Ace of Cups right knight of wands it came out in reverse knight of wands upright is like doing something super fast going at at hella speed right in reverse it's like oh things are going too fast i'd like to slow things down it's moving a little bit too quick for me so some of you might be struggling with that feeling of whoa things are going super duper fast <laughs> faster than i thought i kind of want to slow it down a little bit and that's okay you know, change is one of the hardest things to embrace. Believe me, I struggle with it daily. Um, and then the Two of Wands. So if you notice in the Two of Wands, um, he's looking out in the world. He's got the world in his hand. He's got two staffs, so he's balanced. He's on the balcony of a castle. So he has everything. But it came out in reverse. So it's even though you feel like you have everything, it's this feeling of I'm still not complete. There's something missing. And for some of you, it's balancing out your work and your social life and your love life. For others, it's that feeling of um, of love missing. You know, I have everything, but I don't have a love. But that's all going to change because we got the Ace of Cups in the middle. I feel like for a lot of you, though, it's going to be hard for you to balance your work, your love life, um, and, and your family and your social um, because you have all these wonderful things coming in at once. It's going to be like, whoa, how do I balance all of this out? So it's a feeling of feeling out of control, um, but still in control, if that makes sense. All right, what deck do we want to do now? Let's do our shadow deck. And then we'll do your love portion and a message from your person. And we'll move on. And then we'll be done. I'm going to keep this reading under 20 minutes. All right. What do we got for our beautiful air signs? Can we get two shadow cards for our air signs, please? Can we get two shadow cards for our air signs, please? 
Spirit, Archangels, Angels. All right, Ancestors, and thank you so much. Phew, whoa, one came out right away. We got the tower and it came out in reverse. So, avoiding a natural disaster, beautiful. Good job, air signs. <laughs> You're like, not today, Satan. <laughs> tower upright means disaster. Tower in reverse means avoiding the disaster. So, some of you, your intuition is really strong. You're going to see it before it hits. Bravo, air signs. I always knew your intuition was spot on. You're like, the fuck? Hell no. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Can we get one more card, please? Okay. We have the High Priestess in reverse. Okay. So, High Priestess came out in reverse. So, right side up, it's secrets. Um being revealed it's she's the counterpart to the hero fant so a very powerful um priestess a very powerful goddess it's being your power so it came out in reverse so it came out right next to this tower card so you basically are noticing something you're going to avoid it but with the high priestess in reverse i feel like um I don't know. I feel like this, there might have been a secret that is revealed that you just, even though you saw it coming, it feels, I don't know. It feels like almost like a feeling of, um, I knew it, but I just didn't expect it from this type of energy, I guess. Does that make sense? It feels almost like a betrayal. Like, um, I expected better from this person. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. I feel like um, whatever it is, you seen something was coming, but you weren't expecting it to be what it is. Does that make sense? Okay, because I don't know how to explain it without sounding weird. It's like I feel like someone you know is is um, gonna come with something that you don't expect, if that makes sense, almost like a betrayal. But it's like, you felt that something was off, but you didn't expect it to be that. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's how Spirit's explaining it. It's like, you expected this person to be open and honest with you, and they weren't. There, That's <laughs> that's what we're gonna go with. That's what it feels like. Yep, and see on the bottom of the deck, we got sorrow. So it's going to cause some of you a little bit of pain, but in the end, you guys will be better for it because remember, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you, and you don't want anything around or a person around who's in this energy of betrayal. It's just not a good energy to be in. We're going to go on to your love section, and then we'll get a card from your person with it, my deck, my Lemurian love deck. But let's go on to the sexual magic deck for you, my beautiful air signs. All right, what do we got for our air signs? Can we get, let's do, let's do two cards because you guys' love life already showed really good stuff. You guys got a new relationship coming in. All right, what do we got for our beautiful air signs? Please, can we get two cards showing the love energy around our beautiful air signs spirit please whoa that one came out really quick told you ace of cups again that's three times libra libra air signs okay there's libra i always see this is why i should i don't know all the air signs i only know the one which is libra i think scorpio is one but i always think that i'm reading for um like one particular sign because i'm used to doing before I get distracted, Ace of Cups. I'm used to doing the signs. And so like, I keep thinking I'm reading for Libra and I'm not reading for Libra because I'm reading for all the air signs. But because, I don't know, I'm just, I'm used to, you know, reading for the specific signs. And the only air sign I know is Libra. So <laughs> it's like, I feel like I'm just reading for Libra, but I know that I'm not because I know there's other air signs. 
I'll figure it out anyways because I'm gonna have to tag this video for the different air signs all right so you got the ace of cups again my nose is so itchy when I channel let's get one more card please spirit so it's union for some of you um, really strong divinely guided union it's a new relationship why did you give me so many cards spirit <laughs> I just want one I just want one something flipped but it didn't come out so we're not gonna take it Okay, we got five of swords. So the feeling of, for some of you, it's competition. So I showed you that one. It's union. There's a big ass cup in the background. They just got done making love. They're very um, content. Five of swords. See how she's seducing him. So the five of swords energy is um competition it's like men competing for a woman lightheartedly um it's also fighting off people um fighting for your belief systems it's always lighthearted fighting it's not like super violent like wwe fighting you know it's like lighthearted like okay we're all competing for this chick who's the the better match whatever Okay, but I think in this deck it doesn't it doesn't mean that. There's this deck is different. Um, it always means different stuff. But for the message that I'm getting for these two cards is for one, the Ace of Cups, obviously it's a new relationship. It's something new. It's not the old person, it's something new. For most of you, it's something new. For some of you, it could be the same person and a renewed a reunion or something like that but it feels very new you got the ace of cups three times okay so it feels and you know there's number one on here so it feels new it's not gonna be someone from your past it's gonna be someone brand new coming in it feels like it's gonna go quickly too all right and then the for the five of swords I feel like um, it's a seduction it's like once you guys actually meet in the physical, it's gonna there's gonna be like a, an immediate connection, which is gonna result in a seduction. <laughs> Cause see, they're both. I mean, she's pretty much seducing him. He's seducing her. He's undressing her. It's seduction. That's what it feels like. All right, but let's read it from here. Ace of Cups, ecstasy, the magic of the comb and brush, loving magic crowned by success, satisfaction and festivities a good reason to be happy and in love i told you new relationship cards don't lie five of swords shaking things up whoo get it magic of the purple flowers you must overcome the fear of judgments shame and a sense of inadequacy come on come on air signs get out of your head you must give yourself a good shake and take some risks how do you ever expect to get laid if you are afraid of coming out of your shell? You are beautiful the way you are. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Air signs. All right. Anyways, someone thinks you're edible, whether you do or not. <laughs> One card from your person using my deck, the Lemurian Love deck. If you like mermaids, this deck is for you. If you have a Lemurian past life, this deck is for you. Um, it was created using the artwork of the beautiful and talented Kimber Kiss, who also has her own YouTube channel. Check her out if you haven't. What are you doing? She's amazing. She also does readings like me. She's phenomenal. She's very talented. Her artwork is phenomenal. You'll see from this deck. Um, the deck is 50 US dollars. If you're local, the shipping's only six dollars. If you are overseas, it varies between $23 to $30. All right. What do we got? Angels, Archangels, Spirit Gods, and Highest Self. Thank you so much, guys, for letting me be the clearest channel for source messages. Always a pleasure. I'm just going to fan this deck out and pick one for my intuition because that's how I do it with this deck. All right. Move over, Roba. Do, 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 do. I want to give you the world. 
All right, so there's a theme going on here of the world. Look at that. So the man is looking kind of over the woman's shoulder. She's got a conch shell up. She's holding it up like this. Um, and it's, I mean, it feels like both of them want to give to each other. I mean, the female is the one that's holding something up. So it could be your divine feminine saying, I want to give you the world. Will you accept it? She's obviously a boss bitch. Just saying. <laughs> um, but it looks like the male is contemplating um, things too. Like he's figuring out ways that he can give to her. So it's beautiful energy. See that? They're both glowing. They got green. Their heart chakras are lit up. They got love coming out. So they're connected. Their heart chakras are open. Their, you know, frequencies are calling each other in. It's beautiful. Let's do one more. I want to make you mine. I told you. <laughs> air signs. Somebody's got a big old crush. Ooh, ooh, air signs. So someone has a crush on you or you have a crush and you want to make someone yours. I don't know. Let's see if we get anything else in this card. Wow, it definitely feels like a divine feminine. There is, if you look in this card, the divine feminine down here, she's like, I mean, it doesn't feel like the divine feminine's energy. It feels like, okay, let me explain this. Let me rephrase it. The divine feminine is down here. She's kind of got this glitter that she's tossing up and it's almost like this energy of I don't know. It's like she bewitched him in a way. The male's up there. She's got this glitter. She's going, I want to give you, <laughs> I want to make you mine. And I throw glitter at you. <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense. I know. But it's like she's throwing out some like, not really magic, you know, because like we don't do that. We don't do love spells. We don't do magic. Like we just, we don't do that. Us queens, no, nah. no. <laughs> we sit back and we wait for our good shit to come to us. And that includes our men. Right, ladies? Can I get an amen? But anyways, she's got this energy. She's like, I'm tossing up some glitter for you. I'm trying to make you mine. Like a little love spell, right? I mean, and I put that in quotations because we are the love spell, right? But like he's he's looking and he's bewitched. He's like, there's fish going you know, around him and yet he's focused on her. He doesn't even see the damn fish. The dolphins are swimming, you know, underneath him is a damn jellyfish. He's about to get stung by a damn jellyfish because he's just looking and he's like, I don't even care about the jellyfish. All I see is this um, beautiful queen down here. <laughs> and the only thing he sees is her and she knows it too. She's sparkling for him. She's so sparkly. All right, that's all we got for today, air signs. Thank you. I have to figure out who the air signs are. I believe it's Libra. I believe it's Scorpio. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing one more air sign. I think there's three. So I'm going to figure it out. All right, I love you guys. Um, if you want to purchase a reading, they're always, all my prices in my description box. If you want to purchase my deck, email me. I'll have, you know, everything below um, my Instagram. I'll link my Instagram, write me on Instagram. Let me know. I only accept PayPal payments. I'll send you, um, I'll send your email an invoice. You pay it right there on PayPal. And as soon as it's paid, it gets out and it gets, and I'll send your deck out. I only have two left. That's it. I only have two left and then I have to order more. So if you guys want to pre-order, let me know. You can do that. It takes about two weeks for me to pre-order them, all right? Because it takes two weeks for the decks to get made and then shipped to me. But if you want to pre-order, the more that we pre-order, the better deal we get, okay? Because you order them in bulk. The more you order in bulk, the cheaper the decks are. So let me know if you want to pre-order. Then I can keep them at the $50 price. If not, if I have to order them separately, they're like $64. And you guys are paying a ton more. You'll be paying like $70 for a deck. You know, the more people I can get to pre-order, the more we can, I can keep them at the $50. I don't want to raise the price of this deck. Okay? All right. I love you guys. Bye, Air Signs. Mwah!